This video is sponsored by Brilliant. Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and I've got a cracking question for you today. Let's see if you can solve it. What fraction of this shape's area containing infinitely many rings is shaded yellow? Now let me build the shape. We start with a center, and then we draw a circle with any radius, and then we draw another circle with the same center, whose radius is half that of the previous circles. We then shade the first ring yellow, and then we keep building these rings by drawing circles with the same center whose radii is always half that of the previous circles. And then we alternate the shading between yellow and gray. And then we carry on doing this over and over again, infinitely many times, so that the center is filled. But I actually need to stop there because I can't animate anymore. Okay, give this question a try, pause the video, and I'll be back with the solution in three, two, one. Now for the solution. First, I'm going to work out the area of just the first yellow ring. I'm going to assign the outer circle's radius a value of one, and therefore the inner circle's radius will have a value of a half. So to calculate the area of the yellow ring, I will do the outer circle minus the inner circle. And using the formula for the area of a circle, pi r squared, we will get pi times one squared minus pi times a half squared which gives pi minus a quarter pi, so the area of the yellow ring is three quarters pi. So I'll park that and then I'll work out the area of the next ring. So the gray ring's outer circle has a radius of a half and its inner circle has a radius of a quarter. So using the same formulas as before, the area of the gray ring is pi times a half squared minus pi times a quarter squared which gives a quarter pi minus a sixteenth pi, and that leads to an area of three sixteenths pi. I could keep working out the areas of smaller and smaller rings, and this would lead to a geometric series that we could sum to infinity. This is a valid method and well done if you solve the problem like this. But today I'm going to solve the problem without the use of A-level maths. And I'll start by constructing the shape in a slightly different way. I'm going to take a copy of the first two rings and scale it down by a factor of a quarter. And this creates a similar shape. Similar shapes are in proportion with one another, which critically means the shape's ratio of yellow to grey areas is the same for both. Now I could build my shape of infinite rings by slotting the smaller shape into the centre of the larger shape, and then repeating the process infinitely many times to completely fill the center gap. Now once again, I can't animate anymore, so you have to just imagine the center is getting filled with these smaller copies. But all of these copies have the same ratio of yellow to gray area. So to solve the problem, I only need to focus on one of the copies. And I might as well use the original as that's the one we've already found the areas for. So the yellow to grey ratio is 3 quarters pi to 3 sixteenths pi, which is equivalent to 12 sixteenths pi to 3 sixteenths pi. Simplifying, we have 12 to 3, which is 4 to 1. So the yellow area is 4 times that of the grey area. And the yellow area is 4 parts out of a total of 5 parts. And therefore the answer to today's question is 4 fifths. If you enjoy trying to solve this problem, then you should check out today's sponsor, Brilliant.org. I've been using Brilliant recently, and in fact, today's problem came from their course on infinite areas. Brilliant is a unique learning platform designed to help you learn by doing. It uses interactivity to deepen your understanding and improve your problem solving skills. What I like most about Brilliant and why I recommend it to my students is that it's a perfect tool for any student at any level. Whether you're just getting started with your maths journey, or whether you're studying for your GCSEs or A-levels, or like me, and you've long since left school, and you just love solving maths puzzles and exploring science, Brilliant has courses for every interest. With over 50,000 five-star reviews, Brilliant is the perfect tool for you to learn something new and keep your brain active this summer. And for viewers of this channel, you could try everything that Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days just visit brilliant.org forward slash Mr. Asprey or click the link in the description. And you'll also get 20% off a premium annual subscription.
I want to thank Brilliant for supporting this channel and I want to thank you for watching. Bye for now.